some of the most celebrated impacts in TNA history. Mick Foley has become TNA World Heavyweight Champion. It turned into a dark day in hell. Mick, this ain't business anymore. This is personal. Now, the hardcore World Heavyweight Champion has two men hell-bent on kicking his ass. The next time I see you, I'm gonna shove a pink slip up your damn ass. While another lurks in the shadows. I've got to think that Bobby Lashley has some kind of relationship with Kurt Angle and the main event mafia. What will the maniacal Mick Foley have in store tonight? The hardcore legend, in a word, unpredictable. Plus, his hunger for brutality has put the TNA originals in jeopardy. Let me be real clear about something. There are no friends. It's just my mission of fire. Now, the Alliance will be put to the test. Tonight, get ready as TNA Impact prepares to shock the world once again. How was the board of directors meeting? No comment. Mick Foley still have a job here? I said no comment, JB. Is he still in there? Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Dixie. Move on. Wow, Mick Foley getting out of a executive investors uh, meeting here with the board of directors of TNA Corporate. Unbelievable. Uh, Jeff Jarrett, rumor was all week he was going to have you fired, Mick. Oh, come on, JB. Jeff Jarrett can't fire me. I'm the TNA world champion. You can't fire the champ. Besides, as executive shareholder, I don't work for Jeff. I work with him. I'm looking forward to do more in the future. Yeah, but what about last week, Mick? Last week? Yeah, last week where we went off the air with you hitting him in a steel chair in the back. Ah, uh, JB, friends fight, you know that. Friends fight. Friends fight. With steel chairs. Uh, yeah. What type of house did you grow up in, JB? A household of wimps? Woo, no sitting with a steel chair. I'll tell mom. Listen, it's going to be great. I'm looking forward to it. We're going to be closer than ever. Closer than brothers. Have a nice day. Mafia. Those closest to me have referred to me as the Godfather. Why the Godfather, you ask? Because I'm the man in charge and I know how to make things happen. Anything you need, I can deliver as long as you show the proper respect. And Mick Foley, 
That is how I am honored here in TNA. As long as you show me the proper respect. Mick Foley, when you hit me with that steel chair last week, you didn't know that there would be consequences. But when you mess with the Godfather of the Main Event Mafia, there is a price to pay. Jeff Jarrett, as the Godfather of the Main Event Mafia, I have an offer that you can't refuse. Now, if you put me in that four-man dance at sacrifice, I am willing to give up the one thing that is most important to me, Jeff. If I lose in that match and I get pinned, the individual that pins me will take over as the godfather of the main event mafia. Now, Mick... What I'm going to do tonight, after what you did to me last week, I'm going to head back there tonight to your office, and I'm going to employ a hostile takeover. I am going to take over your office. I am going to take over your job. I am going to take over everything, Nick Foley, because when you screw with the Godfather, You get the thorn of the rose. I knew Kurt Angle was looking for revenge, but now he promises to take over Mick Foley's office and job. And he's willing to put up his role as godfather of the mafia to challenge Foley at sacrifice. Let's get Foley's reaction as we send it to JB with the new TNA champ. Well, some very strong comments there from the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle. And Mick Foley, I have to ask you your thoughts on Kurt Angle vowing to take over the office here tonight. Just tweak it. Just tweak it. Mick. What? What did you think about Kurt? What did he say? What did he say? He said he's going to take over the office. Whose office? Whose office? Your office. My office. Yeah. Why? Why? Hey, Jeff. What in the hell are you doing in here? Doing here. I work here. Mick, this, this ain't no boardroom. We don't have any directors sitting around a big table. It's just me and you. And I have every right to beat the hell out of you tonight. But I'm not going to do it. Not on your terms. I'm going to do it on mine. Now, as far as tonight goes, just stay out of my sight. But listen, JB just said something about Kurt wanting to come in and take over my office. Ordinarily, I'd be fine, but I've got 25 beauties over my right eye. I think I'll still be fine as long as I know that you, partner... I've got my back. Partner, got your back? The only back you're going to get is the one I turn on you. You got yourself into this mess with Kurt? You get yourself out of it. Now I've got a book, Mr. Ron. To confirm Kurt Angle's threat and his promise to give up leadership of the main event mafia sacrifice, let's go to Lauren. You have laid it out for Mick Foley. You have made it clear that before this night is over, you will be sitting at his desk in charge of his duties. I'm the godfather. When I say something, I look that person in the eyes, and I do it. But, Kurt, what about sacrifice? Putting your leadership position with Main Event Mafia on the line just to get into the TNA heavyweight title match. I mean, Kurt, what are you thinking? What the hell do you think I'm thinking? I'm going to whip Mick Foley's ass and become the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. Back off, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't trust you? Scotty, 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 Scotty. Hold on, man. What's wrong? Serious, what's wrong? I want to kill him. All right, He's going to pay. All right, all, right, all right, calm down, Scotty, all right? We need Jarrett right now. I know you're pissed off at him. I know you've been friends with him for, what, 23 years. I know he did us wrong at lockdown, but we need him. I need him to get into this match at sacrifice. So just wait until then. Then he's all yours. I promise. Cool? Cool. All right, man. Last week on Impact, two 